we are still a ways off from the new DCU launching with James Gunn's Superman Legacy. And so there are still going to be questions floating around the air. Still not everybody is totally understanding, is this a total reboot? Is this some things are going to be brought over story-wise? We know some actors are coming over, but is it still going to be consistent? Like, is this going to kind of be a rebooted Peacemaker? Is it going to be the same Peacemaker? One of the questions that's been asked is about actress Sasha Kaye, who of course played Supergirl in The Flash. And by the way, The Flash is kind of a divisive film. I don't understand why it's a divisive film. It's a good movie. I mean, Ezra Miller should never be allowed to work as The Flash again, but the movie itself, on its own merits, I thought was a really good movie, but whatever. But, you know, most people, even those who didn't like The Flash, seem to really appreciate Sasha Kaye's performance as Supergirl. We certainly like the character. I like the way they, they did her. Now, early on, after the announcements of James Gunn taking over DC, reports came out that, what a lot of people suspected that Sasha Kaye would not be probably would probably not be returning to play Supergirl. Now, a while ago, though, some whispers started to come out that she just might be coming back to play Supergirl, which is an odd decision for me. But if you're going to bring Sholo back as Blue Beetle after an absolutely failure of a movie, I like that movie, by the way. I thought it was an entertaining little film, but it was a complete disaster. It fell on its face box office-wise. <clears throat> but if they could do that, why not Sasha Kaye as well? Well, a new reports are going around saying that Sasha Kaye will not be returning as Supergirl in the DCU. Now, this doesn't come from DC, but here it is. Uh, Supergirl is set to be recast in the new DCU per a new report. According to insider Daniel Richtman, popularly known as Daniel RPK, Sasha Kaye will not be reprising her role as Supergirl in Peter Safran and James Gunn's new DCU. The report from December 8th revealed that while Supergirl will join the quickly growing cast set to appear in Superman Legacy, Kaye won't be returning and casting is already underway. So there, there's two interesting pieces of information in there. Number one is we've been hearing whispers that on top of Mr. Terrific and on top of, you know, the guy Gardner, Green Lantern, and on top of Hawkgirl, that Supergirl was also going to be appearing in Superman Legacy. Okay. But it won't be Sasha. Now, I already know there's going to be a bit of a debate about this because people who thought Sasha was good in the role were thinking, well, she deserves to still have this role. And let me be very clear about where I am on this. I thought Sasha was really good in the role. And I absolutely believe it's the right thing to recast. Because this isn't that Supergirl. Now, it, me saying that, I can already hear a lot of people yelling at their screen, screens at me, well, John... Sholo's Blue Beetle isn't going to be the same Blue Beetle. Yeah, I, I get it. And there's an aspect of this that I don't understand and that I don't think any of us are going to understand until the new DCU launches. But just in principle, like this Supergirl character, because we already know a little bit about the story, we already know the comics that Supergirl stories are going to be based on. James Gunn has already talked about that. That clearly is not Sasha Supergirl. Sasha Supergirl has a totally different story. And so since they're having this new Supergirl with a completely different story, I think it would make even less sense to bring her back to play it. And again, I say that as somebody who really enjoyed her portrayal as the character. And again, I, I, I believe this so much that it's the right thing to recast her that I do scratch my head. Although I love Sholo in the role of Blue Beetle as I may. Uh, I'm like, how is this going to work? Like, if it's not the same Blue Beetle, why is he coming back? Because I loved him in it. I did. And a lot of us are asking about the John Cena's Peacemaker thing. Well, yeah, this is a rebooted universe. Why is John Cena still playing Peacemaker? Look, we still just don't have the answers. We're going to have to wait and see. So all I can do, is, instead of trying to piece all the different puzzles together, is just look at this one question in front of us. And the one question is, is it the right move to recast Sasha Kaye? And I actually believe that it is not because she's not good enough, not at all, just for the circumstances, I think it is the right thing. And, you know, I do lament that we're not going to see this Supergirl anymore. I also lament that we're not going to see certain aspects of the DCEU anymore. Uh, let's go. Let me see. Let me see. This, 
this more than anything. There's, there's, there's my guy. There's Henry. How's that? <laughs> I will miss this guy most of all. You, <laughs> I'll miss you most of all, Scarecrow. Um, I'm gonna miss Henry's most of all. But, you know, they are they are moving on. And and there was a certain style that Sa Sasha Kaye uh brought to her Supergirl. Yeah. Which uh, if they if this new Supergirl is gonna follow the Woman of Tomorrow, maybe they did Woman of Tomorrow like uh, uh comics or. It's going to be a very different kind of Supergirl. Yeah, it could be a very different. And, and like, you know, James Gunn, I don't see him as being like, oh, like if he doesn't see a good fit, he's not going to he's going to he's not going to force the role onto someone. Yeah, he, that may have played it not the way he wants this new Supergirl to play it. So, guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video. Better help. You know, guys, it's Christmas time, and I don't know about your family, but mine always used to like giving a lot of gifts. And whether you like giving big, elaborate gifts or small, personal gifts, it's important not to forget to also give to yourself during this season because the holidays are a great time to do that. So, whether it's by starting therapy, going easier on yourself during the tough moments, or treating yourself to a day of complete rest, remember to give yourself some love this holiday season, too. And you know, I think we need to talk about this more. You know, we always encourage each other when we're talking about improving our physical health, you know, going to the gym and working out. We talk about it with each other. We encourage each other. Well, I believe it's time we start doing that when it comes to our mental health. Make sure we're taking care of ourselves by looking at our mental health too. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. So guys, in the season of giving, give yourself what you need with better help. Visit betterhelp.com slash campia today and get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H E L P.com slash campia. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campia Show Podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.